hello everyone so today we are creating this beautiful smoky eye look using only affordable products okay so i haven't cleansed my face yet so i am using this face wash for that this is the dot and key sika calming blemish clearance face wash it has salicylic acid and green tea it really soothes my skin and you can use it for day and night so for that i'm just going to take a little bit of the product it has a gel consistency which is not drying on my face and i will be using it like this only and it has very soothing fragrance they say that this does not have any added fragrance so i think it's the ingredients that has this fragrance so i will be back after just washing my face now my face is clean i now i want to use a hyaluronic acid as it will hydrate my skin and make it look a little plumper it will just prep my skin a little bit so for that i'm using this hyaluronic acid this is from scentpy it's the 2% hyaluronic acid with b5 if you want to know the review of this product i will link the video here so this is how the product looks like the oils and are separated so you want to shake it first before you use it this product i really like i have been using it for quite some time now i will take a little bit of the product on my palm and you want you want to make sure that your skin is slightly damp before you use this product now i will just pat it into my skin put it under your eyes now doing skin care before your makeup is really important if you don't want your makeup to look cakey and dehydrated your makeup will sit on your skin way better if you have done your skin care properly before you have moved on to your makeup i will put the rest of the serum on my neck we shall move forward with our moisturizer because you don't want your hyaluronic acid to sit on your skin and it will dehydrate your skin even further if you don't moisturize your face for moisturizer i'm using the earth rhythm sika gel it has centella asiatica calendula ginseng and licorice it is the healing gel they have you can use aloe vera as well but aloe vera doesn't suit me so i like to use centella asiatica centella asiatica also have the healing properties that will just calm your skin down and if any if you have any bumps it will just work on that as well i will put on my face this is how the consistency is now i will just massage it onto my skin put the rest on your neck okay so our skin care is done now we want to do some priming to our skin so that the makeup will stay more and sit properly on our skin illuminating primer this is from lakme this is the lakme lumi cream this i'm going to take just a little bit now i'm going to apply it on my high points because i want them to highlight more this is how our skin looks like we will do our eyes first because we are going to use black eye shadows and really dark eye shadows so i will just move you closer a little bit so you so that you can see what i am doing on my eyes properly so i have zoomed you in now we will move on to our eyes for my brows i am using my 
favorite product this is the l'oreal brow kit so first i am going to brush my brows take the powder side and start filling it i will start it from the outer part of my brows our base is still a little wet so it will stick better make sure you're putting very less product on your front brows i'll just flick my brush upwards to give some color over here okay so i will be doing voiceovers from now on so now i'm using this eyeshadow palette from nyka it's the double chocolate chip palette i'm taking that light brown shade with a big fluffy brush and spreading it all over my upper lid the time while you're blending your eyeshadows you don't want your eyeshadows to have lines your eyeshadow should be really blended now i will take a little bit of dark brown color and following it with the same brush taking another dark brown color and blending it creating an ombre go back and forth with these three colors and create a perfect ombre for your eyelids that will look good on you now now take that black color and add that on your eyelids in the downside only near your lash line make sure you're blending take a little by little and go back and forth again with your eye eye shadows now cleaning the mess that we have created with all the darkness that's why we did our eyes first so that we can clean it later on now moving on to my favorite foundation of all time my favorite full coverage foundation i might add this creates a beautiful base and this base will last you for full day and night my face is looking really flat to add some dimensions i'm adding my concealer which is little bit lighter for me to create some highlights now adding the bronzer or contour stick whatever you want to call it i like to do bronzing rather than contouring bronzing is a term where you add the warmth but creating a shadow with that warmth i like to add it on my forehead chin and the double chin that i have and on my nose create uh, with a very petite brush this is from wet and wild i will mention all the products that i am using in the description box you can check it out now i really want to set my face because i don't want any crease i am only setting my under eyes because i have dry skin and product doesn't really move around now adding blush in the shade rose from fit me it gives a really really nice flush taking the highlighter from maybelline again it's their master chrome in the shade molten gold and look at the highlight that it gives blend it nicely apply it on your high points nose chin upper lips everywhere now take a petite brush and apply that highlighter on your inner corners and your brow bones this will just highlight your face and make everything look put together now adding black shadows under my eyes because we want to look cohesive and now smudging it with a light brown color adding some kajal to give that oomph now adding mascara and obviously i have to add the maybelline hyper curl mascara for lips i'm taking a lip balm this is from nevia and removing it so that my lips will be clean and soft taking the lip liner from swiss beauty it is in the shade somewhat brown i will mention everything in the description box lining my lips and will be smudging it later on now taking this lipstick that washes me out but creates a beautiful nude when blended with a dark shade of lip liner and that's it for the makeup we have created a beautiful smoky eye makeup look that doesn't look that out there on your face but looks beautiful and and with that you have the beauty shots right here enjoy close up and if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button it means a lot to me 
do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that every time i upload a video you will not get notified bye